All right, so round two of everyone's favorite event is officially here, and this time, the effective category is Resurrected Warriors. So we are gonna be jumping into the Fizz stage here and employing a very similar strategy to the previous round where we go with the double candy Vegito leads. Let's see, uh, Tech, Super, there we go, lots of candy Vegitos. And uh, instead of using the LR Goku and Frieza, our main attacker is gonna be the Easy A STR Majin Vegeta because number one, he's a great nuker, but number two, He's an even better nuker when facing Goku's family enemies, right? And since we're fighting Goku here, he's going to be extra effective. And for the rest of the team, we're going with a couple of orb changers, a couple of supports, and uh, there's the squad. Okay, now in terms of the support item, instead of the Takoyaki, we're going to go with the Lemo item instead. Now, it doesn't actually matter that much which nuking item we use. Like, we could use Lemo, we could use the Jaburo Cookie, Chilai, so on and so forth but I just like to use the item that corresponds with the type of our attacker. So since we're using STR Majin Vegeta, we're gonna go with the STR Orb Changer here. Okay, so that is the entire setup. A couple of supports, a couple of Orb Changers. Now I know a lot of people won't have this STR hit since he is fairly limited and you don't actually need him. Like he's good to have obviously for the Orb Changing and the support, but if you wanna replace him with another Orb Changer, that could also work. All right, so there's the team. And let's jump in and see if we can, just like last time, beat it in our first attempt. All right. So, uh, ooh, not the best rotations here. All of our orb changers are either in the second or third rotation. And we have to get really lucky with this um, Lemo item to actually beat Goku. Um, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. So I'm going to go with one Lemo here. And that's not bad. Okay, second one. Please change at least. Oh, we got nothing. All right, so that's going to be 12 orbs, which is not terrible, but definitely not ideal. I don't think we'll be able to kill Goku, um, you know, in this run. So let's see what happens. It's worth a shot, but yeah, 7.5. Not going to do it. It's not enough. Yeah, 57 million is good. Um, but imagine if we got a full board, like 23, and we also got a crit, that probably would have been a one shot. Oh, by the way, the, uh, thing I said in the beginning about everyone's favorite event, it was total sarcasm. I feel like this event is actually quite poorly designed, you know, like it's just way too hard for a lot of people to beat it in two turns and the rewards don't justify the effort, you know? So if you don't feel like spending literally hours for some people to get five stones, I don't really blame you, you know? So like, yeah, not a big fan of this event. It's still something I wanna do, still something I wanna get done, but um, it takes some patience. It definitely takes some patience. Now on the bright side, at the very least, the most effective attacker, which in my opinion is the Majin Majita, is much easier to acquire, much more common than the previous attacker we used, the uh, LR Goku and Frieza, right? And yeah, this time, I think a lot of you guys watching should have this Majin Vegeta available to you. He doesn't have to be rainbowed, but obviously the more dupes, the better, right? So this is gonna be our second attempt. Hopefully we get some better rotations. Nope, okay, so <laughs> it would have been nice if our Majin Vegeta wasn't in the third rotation, so Let's try that again. I'm not gonna count that as an attempt, actually. Okay, every single reset we do where we don't go into the actual fight, I don't think should count as an attempt. Okay, so this one's not bad. We do have both supports with the Majin Vegeta. We just don't have any orb changers. So we need some luck with the Lemo items here to get most of the board. Ooh, okay, hold on. Change the Fizz Orbs. Oh, okay, we didn't change the Fizz Orbs, we did change the Rainbow Orbs though, so that's going to be 18 Orbs. 18 Orbs in total, we're going to link up the Majin Vegeta with the Turles, and uh, this might do it guys. Okay, if we get a crit, if we get a crit, I think this could be a one shot. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, so 18.5 million. Crit? Okay, no crit. <sighs> Man, we needed an additional. We needed an additional. Didn't happen, so we are going to try again. So that was the second official attempt. All right, now I know in the last video for the first round, um, I beat it in my first try, 
but that was actually fairly lucky. And to replicate that run, it actually took me like five or six attempts after to get like the right rotations and everything. So uh, yeah, definitely don't expect, don't expect to be able to beat this in your first attempt. Even with like the best setup, even with the best possible units, um, it's most likely still gonna take you, you know, at least a few resets, right? Okay, so our first lemo did nothing. Second lemo. Oh, perfect. Okay, so that's gonna be 21 orbs. Unfortunately, we don't have double supports, but um, I mean, with the extra orbs, it should make up for the lack of turtles on this turn. So yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure what to expect, where it's gonna let it play out, and whatever happens, happens. There we go, okay, 23 million attacks that this time. Brit. Ooh, so close. So that was our third attempt. By the way, in case you guys missed my pinned comment on the last video, um, this is something that I wasn't aware of either. Like, somebody had to tell me on my stream. They had to be like, yo, Tiger, I don't know if you know this, but 99.9999, like eight nines, or what you would call, you know, max damage, is actually only a visual cap. So you could actually be doing much more damage than 99,999,999 but you can only see that number as like the highest number, right? So let's say one person does 9999999 and they're actually hitting for like 110 mil. Another person might be, you know, doing the same damage visually, but actually hitting for 150 to 200 million. So that's why in the last video, I hit for 99,999,999 and I one shot the Goku, but other people were like, yo, I did the same damage but I only did like half of Goku's HP. And that's why, right? Because not all max damage numbers or max damage hits are created equal, right? Like my Goku and Frieza had 35 million attack stat, whereas somebody else's might have had like 18 million and still hit for the same visual number. So yeah, if you guys weren't aware of that, then now you know. And uh, I don't blame you because once again, I only recently learned about this too. Okay, so this turn looks kind of promising. Um, we still need Lemo to do some work here. Okay, so that was a few. Can we get the rest of the board? Ah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's not enough, okay. Reset, reset. Luckily, I do have like 50 Lemos, so I can do quite a few of these runs. If you guys need to farm the item and also the Chilai, they're available from the uh, DBS Broly story event. I believe it's in some of the later stages. Um, I forgot which number, but you can check in the event info, obviously, right? So I think that was attempt number three, like officially, I think it was number three. So now we have Majin Vegeta in the second rotation with Kid Buu, which is not bad. Let's pop a limo here. There we go. Okay. And please change the rest. Dude, why? All right. You know what? I think it's still worth you know, trying just because it's 16 orbs and we can still potentially get a crit and an additional. So anything is possible. But yeah, only 12.9 million for this one. Can I get a crit, please? Okay. <sighs> Damn it, we get the crit, but we don't get the additional. <laughs> of course, I would get the crit with the lower attack stat, right? Because like the last time, you know, when we had like 21 orbs if it had crit it would have been fine goku would have been dead but nope whatever man i'm willing to sit here for the rest of the day and just keep trying this over and over again until it happens okay this is actually pretty nice this is actually pretty nice 19 million wait no no uh 19 orbs actually the attacks that might be close to 19 million so 19 orbs if we get the crit here Yo, actually 19 million though. I called it. I called it. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. If we had like one more orb. We were so, so close. This is frustrating. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going through this exact situation where like you get very close each time. You just can't quite, you know, get over that hump. Um, Don't give up guys. Don't give up. Just keep trying. Ooh, okay. This is good. This is good. Okay, so we got hit and kid boost. So that's a hundred percent support on that second rotation. So let's yeah, let's just soften him up a little bit with the candy potato. 1.1 mil, basically like 0.5% of Goku's HP. 
And, okay, hit change a few. Nice, nice. Okay, Lemo, do the thing. Please change those fizz orbs. I beg you. Oh, God. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. All right. So, this is it, guys. This is basically our best chance to do this. Like, I don't really see, you know, a better rotation than this. So, boom, 201 orbs with the double, you know, 50% support. This has got to be at 24 million attack stat. This is the one. This is the one. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't counting exactly. I think it was like five attempts, maybe. You know, like not counting the ones where like we didn't actually attack. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. I was only sitting here for like 15 minutes. You know, I was prepared. I was prepared to go for much longer. But as you guys can see, yeah, this Majin Vegeta is definitely really effective on this specific stage, on this round. Um, of course, you want to do the Fizz one. The other ones really don't matter since you're not getting any rewards for beating the stages. You're only getting the rewards for missions. So the only reason you would be doing, you know, like the Tech one or the Int one or the AGL one would be if you're using a different attacker like um, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, for example. I'm sure he works very well. I haven't tried it, but considering how good of a nuker he is, if you get that additional super, if you get some crits, I'm sure he can also beat the stage in uh, two turns or less, right? So anyways, guys, that is going to be today's video. Let me just quickly collect my missions. And then I don't want to look at this event for the next four days until, you know, stage three comes out. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys were able to beat this, you know, clear all the missions and um, which unit you used, right? Was it Majin Vegeta? Was it Super Saiyan 3 Broly? Was it uh, Tech Cell maybe? Basically like any good nuker, I think, has a good chance of uh, beating it in two turns. You just gotta get a little bit lucky. You gotta get the right setup, get the right orb changes and all that stuff. So luck and RNG definitely plays a really big role in this event. And that's a big part of the reason why I say it's not very well designed because it's just so hard for a lot of players to beat it in two turns, to clear all the missions. And I just don't feel like five stones is worth it. But of course, if you got nothing better to do, then might as well just uh, you know keep resetting over and over again until you can get it done. And uh, that's it, guys. I will see you in a couple days for round three. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.